Breakfast Television's weather is brought to you by React and Complete. For relief of all your toughest allergy symptoms, fight back with fast acting Reactin. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to BT. Uh, we're currently looking at a drive this morning that's moving pretty well for the most part. However, we have construction in areas that uh, will slow you down this morning, including uh, some maintenance over on the westbound QEW just outside of my view uh, west of Winston Churchill. We have two left lanes blocked off there because of road work. So we're looking at delays from west of Aaron Mills heading towards that construction zone. Very, very jammed, through, jammed up through that stretch. So do, uh, watch out moving through that area. Uh, taking a look now at the Toronto bound QEW. That seems to be moving fine right now out of Hamilton this hour. Uh, you won't find anything uh, uh, much slowing it down through this stretch, which is a good thing because we do have construction on the go uh, through this area. You'll see there there that we have two left lanes blocked off uh, because of maintenance and it will slow you down as the morning continues. But right now, uh, things are moving at the limit. So all in all, it's not a bad drive through this area for most of our major highways and expressways. To help you stay safe and at home, Lowe's is offering free parcel shipping and curbside pickup with online purchases at Lowe's.ca. That's a look at your roads and I'll send things over to Frankie for a look at the forecast. Yeah, we're going to go right back to that pollen uh, report again. So there's a look at the total pollen levels for today. Uh, moderate, we have low counts for Aspen Poplar. We have a low count for Oaks this morning. We have low for Willow. And we want to make sure that we thank Reactin for helping us all breathe easier on a frosty morning. Look at those temperatures this morning. We've already broken a record-breaking low set back in 1966. Right now, we're sitting at about minus one. Winds right now, a little bit of a the southwesterly at 13, but that creates a wind chill of minus five. So indeed, layers required. What a crazy, crazy month it's been. Yesterday, a record snowfall. Today, a record breaking low. Uh, there's a look. We get sunshine to start out with. Those some flurry activity this morning down into Windsor. We do have a frost advisory for the bulk of southern Ontario. And with that tonight, another risk of frost. Seven degrees today. Double digits return tomorrow at 12. 13 on Wednesday. We're going to see a high of 13 and pretty much stay there through the overnight. We'll see rain through Thursday night. And then Friday, we're back into highs into the 20s. So once again, a chilly start to your Tuesday morning. That is a look at your forecast. Now it's on to your Tuesday news. Thank you so much, Frank. Toronto is launching a new digital initiative called Shop Here. Mayor John Tory says the goal is to help hard hit small businesses and artists get through this pandemic. It helps these businesses, many of which have been around for a long time, to adapt to some of the new realities of retail uh, in the City of Toronto. So I think we took a step early on to triple the budget of Digital Main Street. We're adding in this program, which will help 3,000 businesses in the next few months, and I think that's going to be a very significant contribution to these smaller businesses and artists. The Shop Here program will enlist volunteer web developers and marketers to help small businesses and artists set up online stores. It's open to local artists and businesses that pay commercial property tax in Toronto and have fewer than 10 employees or less than 25 if they are a restaurant or a bar. The goal to create 3,000 online stores. Okay, you may remember this story from the weekend. An unbelievable 308 kilometers an hour. That's how fast police allege an 18-year-old man was driving on an Ontario highway last weekend. And even Premier Ford shaking his head on this one. you got to throw the book at uh, these people because they're putting everyone's lives in jeopardy uh, when, they, when they do something that reckless and careless. So it's uh, very, very uh, disappointing. Uh, that young gentleman uh, jumped in the car and did that. But you know something? Thank God he's alive. And thank God his friend's alive. And speed, just one thing to consider as Canada's Road Safety Week kicks off 